Oh, all right, all right. I'm just gonna start. Hi there. Hello. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, we're off to a, a bit of a shambles start here because it looks a lot like Bressingham has forgotten about the stream delay. So uh, the feed of Bressingham will be ahead 10 minutes compared to Nick Player. I just tried a 600 seconds delay on Bressingham uh, in the commentator controls. I have no idea if this will work. Um, let's hope for the best. So I obviously didn't catch anything of what Bress was doing up until now. We can see that it's an either major minor or a Chozo seed uh, and one with vanilla charge, but that's about it. And in chat, Cell Monster is 100% right. There is always shambles when I'm on comms. Man. Okay. So it should be only a couple of seconds until we can see Nick player start here. Yeah, thanks, Alvosa. But you are right. Last race I did comes on was a shambles as well. Different issues that time. But let's just let's just wait and see what happens here. If Westingham's stream would start more or less when Nick player gets around that seven minute and twelve seconds mark. I really didn't catch anything of what Bress was doing. Here we go. So this is round number six in the uh, Dash Mystery Tournament 2024. It's a matchup between two players that are standing 4-1 in the Swiss round. So with a record of at least three wins, you will qualify for the playoff bracket. So both runners strong will be through. And with good reason, both of those guys are really, really good at the game. I, I think both of them actually are horses for both of them. Probably not the main favorites in this, but they can absolutely defeat anybody in this. All right, Nick Player, after a quick mood fall down shaft, will go, go down this elevator for his first item that give a, could give us a clue what type of seat we are playing here. We know that it's not a full countdown because Full countdown would have those numbers in the top right. It does not. First item morphing ball doesn't give us a clue to anything. Could still be either. Nick player with uh, a bit of different colors there for his power suit is in red and white. This might be the team colors of Bigos Amigos. I'm not sure about it. A minor item at this location also gives us no clue about the item split at hand. Nick player with a bit of a more traditional strat up that room. Now we find out what's in the ceiling. This is a space jump, which means we are in a major minor scenario. So what that means that all the items that contain either a unique upgrade or an E-Tank or a reserve tank in the vanilla game will also contain one of those. Either an upgrade, an E-Tank or a reserve tank. All the items that in the vanilla game contain ammo, which is missiles, super missiles or power bombs, will also contain one of those. This is the most classic type of randomizer. This mode has been around pretty much forever. And it's been well designed and well balanced because not this is not true for every single spot out there. They have been made two one switch actually. So two changes, one switch. And that has been along for around for so long that I, I tend to forget that there is supposed to be an E-tank before high jump boots, and in this this is just a minor location. And the right side super in turn has been turned into a major upgrade. So either an E-Tank, Reserve Tank, or a unique item. Nick Player will probably be finding something here that gets him through the blocks, but not necessarily. If this is an area rando seat, then those supers will be logically, have been logically picked up and can also uh, be used to get Nick Player through to a transition on the right side. But it's way more likely Nick finds something here to break the blocks on the left side. Indeed so, this is screw attack. So Nick player could even opt to go for one more major location up there in Gauntlet. 
But that's a bit of a risky play because you most likely will have to exit Gauntlet to the right side. And this item cannot be a suit because we have suit restrictions in this, which means that no suits can be in Criteria or Blue Brinstar, where Nick Player is right now. So, as expected, Nick is just continuing to the left. We'll be finding his next major item right here in this room, a Terminator. It's a Spring Ball, very nice! One of the best items in the game, gets you places and can be used for swag. Momentum conservation strats. And it's also just fun to use. We got an area seed. Cool, cool, cool. So this transition gets us to the great boss area. So it's most likely that the boss will be van vanilla. It's over 50%. But we have uh, a roll of 30%. Vanilla bosses, 30% shifted bosses, 30% sh shuffled bosses. And then there is a remainder of 10% if you follow the math and that goes to surprise bosses. I'll explain that in a second. Okay, some good areas found here already. Looks like Nick wants to go, wants to, go to first that uh, spacer location and probably after that to the tube transition. And I would imagine... Oh, no, he doesn't? Okay. No, he does, yeah. That was what I was going to say. I would assume that Nick Player is going to continue into green Rinster after this. You could also... Oh, charge speed, very nice. You could also make an argument for going into the boss fight, checking out who's there, and then if it's a boss you can defeat, you'll never have to return there. Maybe even get a couple of good items out of it. Of course, Nick Player cannot check this transition. He does have no power bombs, and Nick Player can also not go to the boss. I wasn't paying wasn't paying attention. Nick has no power bombs and no bombs, so couldn't even go there. We are getting pretty close to that seven, seven minute mark. I'm hoping so much that the stream delaying on the speed gaming side has worked out. The actual chance of an oops already. I think uh, MM2 ran a bunch of seeds like thousands and so it's 10% of 1 in 255. So it, is, it, is it 2 in 2550 then? Oh, Nick Player trying to get in there. Ah, almost got it here. Didn't get the screw. That's deep enough? Yeah. Of course, Nick was hoping for a powerbomb pack. Didn't get one. Speed booster is cool, but Nick also really wants that powerbomb pack now. Because... Nick is coming up to the first location where he will need power bombs in order to check one more major location. Here we go, last chance for them. Nope. Looks like the seat will be holding out on us. Oh, this worked beautifully, everyone. Yes, thanks Speed Gaming for making this possible. So we got a synced up stream. It's it's almost perfect. I can't believe it. This is so sweet. Great, great, great. Bressingham a bit ahead here. Probably probably did some minor things that Nick Player didn't do. Don't know what. Maybe never. Yeah, we don't know if Bressingham has charge beam. So it looks like Bress might have not gone there to the spacer location. And that would explain the little difference in the runner's positions. Oh, careful, Nick. No E-tanks, no suits. Your energy can drain really quickly. So it is possible that first power bombs for the runners are at spawn. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the transitions. 
Uh, but I'll see them on the player screen soon. So all is fine. Ah, space jump and screw attack, that's pretty awesome too. Okay, that's the good lower warfare transition. And it looks like something hot or wet down in Green Brimstar or Bracing and would have continued there. So, where to go for power bombs? Uh, you could go into Gauntlet and hope for bombs. That would get you a bit further. But that's not really the play you'd be making here. Ah, uh, Nick playing a bit carefully. Not to get knocked down even further. Don't risk anything. Very nice. I assume Bressingham will go for Spacer now, and after that we might see the two runners sync up. It looks like Bress has screw attack. I, yeah, I guess so. I think both of them have that. It was their way through the wall in Criteria. So yeah, just got marked in the tracker. Perfect. Indeed, there he goes. That's a spacer check. You could also continue further to the middle transition, but it would be very, very risky to go to top of Red Tower because if you go there and don't find power bombs on an end slash or no transition that you can continue from, that would mean that you are soft lock up there. And you could do it, but you'd have to use that nifty little safe station in the middle of Red Tower. Could somebody tell me what was at bottom of Green Brinstar, please? I missed that. Oh, Law and Offer as well. Oh. So that's a long way to Law and Offer. There's that safe. We're about to find out about our next transition, middle of Red Tower. And Bress will be hoping for a couple of minor checks, which he gets indeed. Does not need to save here, he just did. Can check Crab Hole. Could also do. Could also check Mama Turtle. Just to spot the item and get to get whatever is in the wall. But if it's power bombs and no high jump or no gravity suit, oh, there they are. In that case, he would have been stuck down there. So the big question now is, can Bressingham get those out? It's all depending on those transitions he gets, which are um, the Main Street portal and the Crab portal, bottom right of West Meridia. And Nick Player will be following suit. Most likely will be doing... Oh, we're not. Okay. Or is he changing his mind again? No. Nope. Continuing up Red Tower. I hope Nick Player is safe there. Alright, let's hope for good transitions. This could have very well been the first logical power bombs pressing him got there. So that would mean a good transition would have to be one of those two. I think you are cor correct, Simon, so that Mama Turtle is not in... Uh, logic without up logic, but uh, it, it can still be possible. I was again not paying attention to the transition. Dang it! The Main Street transition. Where did it go? Turian, thank you. Yeah, I saw that, and forgot immediately, as you do with the Turian portal. Oh wait, so that's... Oh no! Oh no! So those power bombs were useless. And that's a very rare intra-zone connection. But that connection means that Top of Red Tower is not a soft lock. That's actually pretty cool. And Nick Player found power bombs, apparently at Alpha Power Bombs. So that wouldn't have been the case anyway. Okay, so that's Meridia. The remaining Meridia portal right there. Yeah, breath saved. Uh, middle of Red Tower and we'll now be doing the same thing that uh, Nick Player did. Both of those runners are experienced enough to know 
not to go up there without the safety and power bombs. Yep, and Nick taking that cool little shortcut down Red Tower. And will be returning to Green Brinstar because uh, there is three more major items for him to grab. Indeed, Alpha Power Bombs has Power Bombs. Fourteen minutes, not a single E tank in a major minor. This is super rare. Usually, you get nothing but E tanks and reserve tanks in those. That's grapple. Great item. I love me some grapple. Nick player saying no to those missiles and on thirty of those and with charge beam in hand. That's a good choice. And now Nick can go to the Wavegate E-Tank and even decide to check Waterway, which is a slow check. But he's right there, so why not? Press also now finding out about the shortcut. And now remembers he hasn't gone up the elevator and will have full knowledge of the West Meridia portals after that. Very easy wavegate there for Nick player. No problem at all. Finds his first E tank. Alright, let's see what Nick decides to do now. I'm assuming he will go to Waterway. Yeah, it looks a lot like... Oh, of course! Nick didn't see the charge beam item either. So that's even more stuff to pick up. A reserve and Nick... doesn't get it! Huh, I didn't know that. Looks like he just wanted to run into it, but couldn't get it that way. Interesting. Very nice, space jumping through there saves a lot of time compared to just running through. And Brass taking his power bombs and space jump to X-ray. So we see two new items here. Just an E-Tank for Nick. And just an E-Tank for Brass. If you do that with the space jump, you mustn't forget that you didn't kill those caterpillar enemies that also have some sort of name, I bet. And they hit like a truck. Yeah, here's all the tanks look like all the tanks are in awful spots. Bridge, and I would assume Bressingham is going into Green Brinster himself now. Oh, Nick decides he just has enough for those hell runs, and with Space and Screw, that's, that's a, a very helpful item combination to do that. Does not have a Crystal Flash though. And has five in his reserve tank. I'm very happy he spotted that before going in there. So now would be a good time to just take the time loss, save and try to farm a little bit. We have an upper north rush that I also like, just like colors. And we have a boss rush from Bressingham. Like I said, very good chance that Crate will be in there. And if it's not Crate, there's still a decent chance that it's Fantoon. Both of which would be a problem for Press. 
the screw attack for Bress almost got it, Nick. Almost makes the Phantom fight free, even on one E-Tank. I was very close for Nick player, but got up there to the item drops just in time. Grapple Beam was at uh, Anacombs. Question from chat. Speed Booster also very helpful. Can actually get the item and get it out again. Should maybe not bother with the miner, but he still has enough time to do this. Oh, what was the boss? Ridley. Oh, that's yeah, painful. And looked like great, so we have shifted all surprise bosses. So, oops, all Ridley is still on the table, everyone. Reserve tank back there at speed booster location. Not the absolute worst item, but one of the worst items. That reserve tank will at least help him with the upcoming hell runs here. But an E tank would have been more practical for that. I don't believe those reserve tanks are full now. Pressingham now returning to Green Windstar will do all those item checks that Nick did before. So this is the room where Space Jump and Screw Attack, especially Space Jump here, will have biggest advantage. This room is just so awful if you have none of those. Ridley and all his cousins, Rodney, Randy and Rhonda. Yeah, we are hoping for all, all of those. Very nice. Gets out without popping the reserves. But we'll have to do so in order to be able to fill up again. Let's see how much is... Oh, it's layer full! I would not have expected that. Very nice. Only one more heated right uh, heated item here for Nick player to get, which is at the wave beam location. And after that it will be an easy run towards more major locations on the left side of Upper Morphair. Unless Nick decides he wants to see the portals first. Ah, get stuck there. Can't deboost with the fall down enemies. Are they screes? With them dead? Question is how do you know how many majors are left? You just have to know where the major locations are. There is no indicator in this setting. Unlike full countdown, where you get a little counter in the top right that shows you how many upgrade items are left in the area and how many e tanks are left in the area. That e tank, not what Nick player wanted, obviously wanted to find progression, but at least it enables him to get out of here safely. can now make either a dash for the items or a dash for the portals, whichever he decides to do first. Portals would be also safe for him to, to feel out. Yes, Brass actually fetching that eating. And the player going for the items first. So this would usually be an E-Tank in vanilla game, but in this major minor mode, this is the one switch location. So you will always find a minor there. That's just something you have to know. It's probably written down somewhere on the dash side as well as the very arendo side. And there's progression. Gravity suit for Nick. 
I hope Nick goes for Ice Beam, I'm sure he will. So that we can see if this gravity suit has a bit of heat protection. There's 25% for gravity suit to have 25% heat reduction. Which can absolutely make the difference if you are planning to do low on warfare suit list. Ah, that Sova rudely kept the door shut. Alright, and Dressingham now arriving in Upper North as well is on one more E-Tank compared to Nick Player. Now, where did Bress get that? At X-Ray, of course. So, we'll probably be a little bit faster with his hair runs here. But it might not actually make any difference. Very nice wall jump strap there to compensate for the missing jump height that you get from only having speed boost and not having high jump boots. Oh, I didn't watch out for the health drain there. That's unfortunate. I'm missing all the important stuff. Oh, Bress, get up there. Go on. Okay, health is still good. No problem. So has a, a lot more leeway there with just one more E tank in Upper North here. All right, up we go into the top of business center, which will give us two more transitions. And Bress's health is running out dangerously. That's that's something that Nick Player could actually follow. Nick has everything he needs to continue to that boss. And does not want to take a look at anything else there in Criteria. And yeah, Nick is continuing here. Nick hasn't spotted out the boss at Crate, so... Um, I mean... With with surprise on the table, there's still a possibility of Ridley also being there in Meridia, but the chance is just very, very small. Reset there from Bressingham so that energy didn't get him back to the health farm. Now Bress is checking out what's at this miner here, and it's a super pack. Super's always good, especially if you are on just charge beam and no beams at all. In that situation, I would be continuing to pick up supers all the way. And even with a good beam, there are rare situations where I s stop before I come to 30 supers. If I keep finding them. Now you got on, on barrier suit, good E and the very good plasma beam, then I might stop earlier. But unless that happens, I will continue to pick up supers. Yeah, nice little run up there from Nick Player. Wants to get through the sand hole with the maximum amount of horizontal speed. And strings it together with a cool little spring ball jump. Ah, unfortunately, it's that little ledge there on the ceiling. It slowed down a little bit. Ah, that, that was pretty cool. Okay, Bress is now saving his energy here that he collected from that farm before speed booster. So. After each of those E-Tanks he, he would be finding here, he can make a decision if he wants to continue with the E-Tank or just reset back to full health. I think that was a missile pack and a super pack there. And Nick player smartly going for the transition first. It's way too often I forget to do that before I do anything else. That's a croc. Yeah, for a shack tool you would need ice or grapple. But of course Nick has grapple. And that safe looks like a left sand pit safe scum. I don't assume Nick player will be continuing to shack tool. In most situations shack tool does not exist. So 
So left pit has Spacer and yeah, come on, pick that up. Don't reset. Oh man, nay, nee, come on. <laughs> you want that. I would want that. It's not that far, that much of a way to return to where you were. In area rando, it's pretty quick to return from the left samples back to Aqueduct. In vanilla map, I would completely understand the reset. So here we go. Next little boss for Nick and then big boss for Nick. The hitbox of all hitboxes, the snake boss. It's bot wound. But the bot wound did not expect that Polish precision out of me player. Gets decimated. Very nice fight. That's an X-ray. Again, not what Nick wanted, but still gonna pick it up because it might be worth the time you expend to pick it up. And you're gonna feel bad when you get to a boss you can kill. You can kill with a microwave. You have charge plasma and you didn't pick up X-ray. Right, looks like Bressingham did not want the E-Tank from Norfolk Reserve, but decides to get out that E-Tank from Wave Beam. Because he is on plus one. Do we see another save here from Nick, or will he just... Yeah, no, okay, another save. So once the snake is down, Nick says, keep it down. Alright, Bressingham, what are you going to decide? Transitions or item? That's the transition check. Let's see if this pays off. Uh, Nick player with a bit of a lead here, so a good transition would ena could enable Bressingham to close some of that back. But what do we, we even have left? So I guess the best thing for Bress to find would be rag chip with big items. Um, and that in this case would just be barrier suit. This is rag chip, but the bad one. Oh, I don't really understand that reset, unless Bress's energy was very low. So we got Phantom there. And Phantom at East Meridia, so that's definitely shifted or surprise confirmed. Bit of stutter Doppler ring. I'm not even gonna try that one. Like, that just messes you up trying to Doppler even more than Doppler being bad as it is already. Like, finding the rhythm, the rhythm for Dopplers is hard enough as it is. I don't really need the stutters for that in order to make me hit more missiles. If I hit like five, that's fine. But Nick's always, Nick always goes for the top. And he's right in doing so, because that guy is really good. Okay, looks like Croc Transition was that, that goes into the east side of Criteria. And that means the last transition I have left on my tracker is the one next to it, and that should go into front of Rekchip. So once again, I'm not sure if both runners, or, or either runner, has full po portal knowledge. I do have that. Not sure why Bress wanted to spot out that minor location. And that's the third powerball pack. Good to have. Oh wait, there was not an E-Tank at Norfair Reserve. That's the bombs that Pressingham has, and he obviously carried those out. My mistake. I'm not so sure about leaving Croc behind here. Especially Major Minor. I can understand it in a Chozo seat, 
where it only has one good location and that's the furthest away of them all. Ah, uh, I think I would have gone for both of them. Unless the first one already gets me progression. Ah, oh, that's rude. Plasma is already a bad check and if it gives you a reserve tank you feel bad about it. At least Nick player doesn't have to do any stupid tech to get out of this room. Alright, we see a save from, from Bressingham. Gonna see our third boss here. And actually, leaving behind all of this. So Nick is not interested in anything Croc has to offer. Ballsy, but very much possible to pay off. If Nick player knew how much in the lead he was, he probably would have gone for those items. But of course, runners don't know about each other. They don't know what the other runner is doing. Alrighty, so that's another defeatable boss there. Add rag chip, it's great, and it's looking more and more like a box that not shifted. Still up to the last boss, there's always the chance of one of the bosses repeating. And ah, uh, great not behaving here for Bressingham. All right, Nick player returning to Upper North. Yeah. Nick definitely has transitions left there that he hasn't seen. The Chronic Portal and the one at Croc entrance. And Bressingham finally stopping that dance with, with Crate. Why are the timers not in sync? Question from chat. That's a good question because they were in sync at some point. But I'm not touching them because one of the runners did not remember to put a 10 minute stream delay on the stream. And I am super happy putting in a 600 second delay on speed gaming worked out. So we will leave it just as it is. All right. It's going to be decided pretty soon if Press still has a shot on this. I mean, yeah, pretty much. If Barrier turns out to be here in Rack Chip, Plasma is nice, then Nick Player will be finding that very soon too. What Bress needs to happen is, Bress needs to find his gravity suit ASAP, and then has to collect Barrier suit at Crocomire. That's pretty much the only way I see for him to get back into this race. Yes, the save for Nick, and Nick can then attempt to microwave crate, which I believe does not work or would save any time. Press skipping the rest of the ship. I like that. Will we get two out of two DLC crates? Nope. That's a high crate, buy crate from the player. All right, press is on the correct path here. And is now even more on the correct path. So where do you go from here if you are Nick player? Nick does not know about the transition right side of Rekship. Might be opting to go there. Obviously Nick will be checking right side supers first. Pick up his plasma beam. Oh, right. Nick is now picking up his plasma beam. There was never a chance to microwave crate. Silly me. 
So that's finally the first two for breast. Mordrax is asking. Uh, he never ended up in this area. Nope. Bressingham decided he wanted to go for the lower transitions in Upper North here first. And so he missed out on Business Center for quite a while here. Also, in, in general, Bressingham arrived in Upper North here a bit later than Nick Player. Thanks to scouting out the boss at Crate and doing some stuff like X-Ray Check. Which wasn't the slowest, thanks to uh, Space Jump, but still those all add up in the end. Alright, here we go, Wreck Chip, E-Tank. Ah, it's High Jump Boots, alright. There is nothing logical about this, doesn't get us any progression here, but it obviously still want it. And that looks like no heat reduction on the gravity suit. Sometimes hard to spot that out, but I think it looks a bit slower. So yeah, the PBs were very delayed in this seat. The first powerbomb pack was picked up by Bressingham, but he had to reset that one because it was at Crab Supers and both the transitions in the lower transitions in Meridia got it nowhere. And the first actual powerbomb pack, where was that again? Oh, right, at Alpha Powerbombs. And as we all know, Alpha Powerbombs is the worst spot for first powerbombs. <laughs> Because that's pretty much the last place you go look for them. I mean, it's not that bad in Dash Area Red, though, thanks to that cool little safe station in the middle of Red Tower. But still. Oh, what was there? Double jump. Ah. Oh. So that's literally nothing for Nick Player. And that's a little bit of safe time not having to go there. So the player made the decision not to go to Crocomire, but now makes the decision... Ah, Gookspark, dang it. But now makes the decision to full clear wreck chip. So where could Varia be after all this? Obviously at Crocomire, sure. It could be right here where Nick Player is. Anything else? Ah, uh, Shack Tool. Uh, but I believe that's it. So, Mama Turtle, of course, we got a major minor. You're right. Mama Turtle, too. Oh, that's bad for Nick. So where do you go from here if you're Nick? Let's see if Bressingham spots out that knob. Bressingham directly going for the boss here. That's it. It's Mama Turtle, Shack Tool, or Croc. Can't be here, and there can't be anything really good for Nick at this spot. Best thing to find would be Ice Beam after that Wave Beam. But that's it. Probably just another E Tank. That's Wave Beam, okay.
All right, the big thing in this one will be will find Bressingham find Varia where he is. That means either in East Meridia or at Crocomire. Because if that happens, I think he might be able to win still. And I'm really wondering what Nick is about to do next. Um, he might be going back to West Meridia for that now turtle check. Okay, it goes to Green Brinstar. Uh, oh, that's right, the boss there. Sure, Nick doesn't know that it's Ridley. So the good news for Nick is that he will be able to defeat Ridley. The bad news is uh, it's not free. That's the first and foremost. It's still pretty tough. I, I think he has at least he must have at least two reserve tanks. I think he has three at this point. So absolutely doable. Um, but it will not give him Varia suit because Varia cannot be behind Ridley. So yeah, tough fight. Nick player cannot afford any mistakes here. But if Nick does not do any mistakes, then he has a very, very good chance. Just needed that one charge shot, can do the rest with Super Missile. So far, so good. That's all hit. Now all he has to do is get grab, not hit. It's three reserves. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Nicely done. A bit messed up. A little bit messed up his pause here. Oh no, is pressing him leaving East Meridia? No breast. Oh, okay, so this is bad for breast, and it also makes this race way more interesting now, because it's highly likely we see two runners going through lower no fair without a barrier suit. Both have good ammo. Um, can be pretty sure not to find Ridley down there. Not hundred percent though. Just close to it. They both have a Crystal Flash. And they have zero heat reduction though, and not too many E-Tanks. On the other hand, after all those good items they found, um, it's almost guaranteed you find more E-Tanks. Yeah, now it's 100% guaranteed that everything in Lower Norfair is an E-Tank. Uh, I think there's still one reserve tank out in the wild. Man, that's rough. So, Nick is going towards Red Tower here. Ah, oh, Nick hasn't checked X-Ray yet. Right, probably going there next. But what do you do after that? Pressingham returning to Upper Norfair. And going towards the Croc transition or the Chronic Boost transition. Interesting to see what his plan will be. Close to this croc transition that'll get him back into uh, into East Criteria, and it's quite possible that Red Bressingham will return to Red Ship. No, nope, doesn't. Okay. I think we might have a suitless lower Norfair on a race on our hands here right now. Not sure we're going to see Barry at any point.
So yeah, outside the Allied Majors, we are only missing Crocomire, Shack Tool, and Mama Turtle. And Plasma has been checked by Nick, and that was a reserve tank. All right, Nick's returning to East, to Western Lydia here, and yeah, that's gonna be a Mama Turtle check. I don't think he can get over the hill that way. Nope, that only works suitless. So, pretty good chance for Barrier to be here. It's not, though. So it's Shack or Croc. Man. If your choice is Shack or Croc, then there is no choice at all. But yeah, that E-Tag is actually pretty welcome. If it's if it's not, I mean, it couldn't have been anything else. To be honest, it could have been reserve take. Apart from Varia, obviously. So Nick Player is now on eleven E tanks. I don't know how many reserves are on Bressingham side. Also fighting the Space Pelican here, and gets a quicker grab. And I don't think he has to pop his reserves. That should work out. Yeah. Oh, and Nick actually taking the front entrance into Law and Warfare. That's ballsy. Oh, decides it doesn't. So the the much much better back entrance. Oh, of course, Nick didn't know about this portal yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, if you decide to do law and warfare, always pick the back entrance because it's way easier to... So the most cruel thing that could happen now is runners attempting to do a suitless law and warfare and surprise Ridley down there. But let's, oh my god, I, I just did it, didn't I? I commentated cursed this into existence. I am so sorry, runners. No, it's just going to be, uh, what what haven't we seen? Um, Dragon, we haven't seen Dragon. That's the boss going to be in Law and Warfare with a nice little E-Tank behind her. And everything will be fine. All right, so both runners only have that one boss left to do. And I believe uh, Bressingham is only missing... Ah, Plasma, plasma Shack, Top of Wrecked Ship. Mm, and apart from that, I believe did the same stuff that Nick Player did. Let's hope Bress doesn't decide to go up into Wrecked Ship before he goes to Lower Norfair. Because at this point, it wouldn't be worth it to go back and try try your luck at Shack Tool or Crocomire. At this point, you you just hard set to risk it in Lower Norfair. You've been spending all this time against a very strong opponent looking for barrier. You can't go back there. So yeah, at Plasma Beam there indeed was a reserve. And this time it looks like the lower offer play here for Nick Player. Unfortunately, is bad on health. And uh, not on health, on supers. So where is he gonna farm up those before he goes there? Or is he not gonna at all? Just hope for not the last reserve tank being at fire, please. Or, or that, just go for more supers. Okay, oh, they are almost synced up here. That's amazing. And Bressingham with a severe super advantage.
Nick's still picking up those missile miners. That's a little questionable. And Bressingham, of course, checking this too. They are... What are the timers like? So yeah, if you take into account the timer being ahead on Nick's fight, Bressingham just pulled ahead. And there's this happened to me so many times that I get stuck in the ground there. Go there, pick up your E-Tank, hopefully. Yep, no reserve troll. Audra crying about her Buchholz. Which runner do you need to win? Is it Nick? Ah, safe for, for both players here. I can't believe we are actually synced up in this. That's insane. I'm gonna slightly delay Nick's stream here, I think by 7 seconds. Ah, uh, should I? Ah, uh, I'm afraid something goes wrong then. Okay, there's a much needed super pack for Nick player. I'm afraid to touch the commentator controls because uh, Bressingham stream is delayed by 600 seconds in the controls. And I'm afraid if I touch it that goes away, so I'm not gonna. We just have to live with this little a little delayed between the runners. Alright, let's just book in it. Nick with a faster room there. But of course Nick has to go back for a couple of those item drops. And let's pray for Dragon here. Or anything except Ridley. It is. Okay. Okay. Whew. So this is excellent news for both of them. So yeah, not a surprise seat, just the box and a shifted seat. And do both have microwave? Yes, they do both have that. And should be no problem to one round, even with just Plasma and Ice, 600 is a lot of damage. have to hit Dragon 10 times with that. So there cannot be Varia behind Dragon, because Varia cannot be in Lower Norfair. It could have been the last remaining reserve tank, but luckily it's not. So Bressingham entering, exiting that room at 02, 57.02. And Nick player a little more than 30 seconds behind. Oh, charging up there for the pre-Ridley room. Good idea. Definitely worth it. The room is long enough for it to pay off even with that slow animation at the back end of it. Although with the time it took to set that up, it's probably not worth it, if I'm gonna be honest. What I always forget to remember is um, just run up in Dragon's room if Dragon happens to be in Lower Norfe and jump into the door transition the last moment. That will get you a way, way faster space jump through that room. It's it's completely amazing how Bressingham came back into that one. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure how he did it. It's been a few skips, but not that many. I mean, top of red chip, yeah, obviously, sure. But was that enough? 
both are executing very, very well. Oh, don't... Okay, didn't get the wall jump check into that last... That last key hunter. And gets out on 60 H... 68 HP. That is almost nice. Nicely done, Kip. Here we go for Nick player. Should have... Ooh, shouldn't do that, uh, but apart from that, should have more leeway with all those reserves. And guess what, on 56 plus reserves. Woo, what a race here! I think it's, it's insane, Nick player decided to go for low and warfare without having enough supers for a crystal flash. Wow. Even if you know that all of those majors have to be E-Tanks. Man, he's, he's really good. Alright, um, Turian, that's in West Meridia. And the quickest way to West Meridia looks like the middle transition in Red Tower. This tube has never been destroyed in this race. Nick will be clawing back a little bit of time in the Mother Brain fight. Bressingham has to do, if we ignore all the ammo, Bressingham has to do a 30 shot, Mother Brain fight, and Nick player only a 20 shot. And there will be no ship refill in this. They both know that entering Turian in an area rando will refill everything you have. There we go. First one to enter Turian will be Bressingham. They will both feel way, way, way behind. Bress probably expecting Varia to be at top of Rick Ship. And Nick player expecting it to be where it should be, either Shaq or Croc. And it's the final stretch for both of them. Ah, Nick got a lot closer there in those last rooms before entering Turian. So yeah, this is definitely a race. Baby skip, actually important in this one. And the player will have an easier time with that. Next to that wave beam, almost a very good Metroid Room 3 there from Bress. Got stuck there on the last Metroid. Up to that point, that looked awesome. Both not on full supers, doesn't matter much. So the main thing to remember for those two runners will be uh, they don't have barrier suits, so they, they they leave themselves 600 and one energy at least. And that's a baby skip skip for Bress and a baby skip attempt for a Nick player. Oh yeah, Bress doesn't have high jump boots. Where were those again? I forgot. And Nick. Ooh, I think he got it. Yeah, okay. All good. So, this should put Nick Player back in the lead, and he will have the advantage from here on out. Like a speed zap skip attempt. Gets it easy. First try. Alright, the big brain hits the ground at 34 seconds for Nick Player. Pressing him with a bit of trouble there with this zap skip with the ice beam. 
What did I say? 34 seconds? Oh man. This looks like Nick got it back here. Colors everything I say is wrong. By default. Yeah, very short fight here for Nick. Already in catch-up phase, that's gonna be the last catch-up. Now carefully damage down to yeah, Nick player does want to do stand-up. So Bressingham entering that catch-up phase here. Okay, that's Mother Brain 2 down for both of them and Bressingham also going for a stand-up glitch here. Things still can go wrong. I'm not an expert on stand up glitch because I don't do it, but I believe there can't be a shot on screen while you get a uh, hyper beam. But they will both know it. Charge shots here for Nick. And there was six hyper beam shots. So Nick player saved 30 of those with that stand up. escape and will not touch, touch that platform rest in the last phases of stand upping to mother brain there will be a couple more hyper boom shots just because that beam does a little less damage but also saving a bunch of hyper shots And Nick going down for that last moonfall. Only has to climb Leo Dogs. Spark the shaft. Nice, nice, nice. Both runners in escape right now. Small stumble there, but more would have to happen for Brass to claw this back. Get your GG's ready. With an official time of 1 hour, 7 minutes and 31 seconds, the winner of this one is Neat Player. GG's. Amazing, amazing. Great one. And don't put your keyboards away. Another GG coming right up. Pressingham not touching his dash 